I, um, I am amazingly grateful for this moment to be introduced to my great friend, the most incredible, brilliant actress that I've had an opportunity to work with is special. <laughs> Alfie Whitty. As Sam Jackson stood and talked about his work, I remember Sam Jackson and myself were in a play reading at the Frank Severo workshop in New York. And who was directing that play reading? Morgan Freeman, 1980. <laughs> One of the incredible things about receiving such an award here is what to say. There are many response speeches that I planned. Um, this whole presentation was my speech, I think, <laughs> in some way. But outside of that, I respect and am honored by the Academy to present me with the Gene Herschel Award. And at this particular moment in time, we can think about our past. We can remember our past. But one of the things that I've come through through my wonderful grandparents who didn't allow her, their daughters and son to pick cotton in September and sent them to school in September. And because of that, these heroic, amazing people in Louisville, Georgia, she was not only the first person to graduate from college in her family and in her community. And she inspired me, my mother, uh, because no one worked harder, no one dreamed harder, and no one just fought for justice. My mother was the regional president of the National Council of Negro Women in San Francisco. Her chapter raised more money than any chapter in the country for the Mary McLeod Bethune statue which stands outside of the, the organization's building right there. My dad, the most incredibly beautiful man that I ever met, falling in love with him when I was five years old, an endless stream that was never separated in that period of time till he, he took his last breath. I listened to the amazing Lee Bowman. <laughs> I, I, I can't, I, you, you would be just the feeling to be on and this stage and to stand with her in, it's just amazing. It's just one of the great memories of my life. Like her movies were one of the great memories of my life as well. When you wanted to think about what are the ways and sort of the things you want to do in front of a camera, having no idea that I would ever be in front of a camera at that time. And what are the, some of the, the feelings, universal feelings that she's displayed that went beyond just Sweden but carried us through our development in this part of human development as well. Those are things that happen. The opportunity to work with, with Alfred Woodard on Mandela and other cases and other places, the opportunity to work with her has been one of the great pleasures in my career. Uh, to have so much incredible energy and incredible wisdom 
and the incredible love for what she does and for humanity has been incredible. I've also had a, a rich relationship with organized labor. As I said before, my, I mentioned that my, if it's mentioned here, my ground, my mother and father, James and Carrie Glover, came at a point in time when the labor movement in San Francisco gave them a sense of purpose, raising the family, and, and having the sense that they were on, in that bridge, they were connected to a larger story, a larger narrative. I have here with me a great friend of mine, George Gresham, who is the president and executive director, director right here of SIU 1199 in New York, one of the great, 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 and you would know that that artist had a home in 1199 historically with bread and roses. I'm here, there, and celebrating this because this belongs to them. This belongs to the workers that I had a chance to, to sit with and, and to support and on, on, as they walked out on their work for justice and a better working place in that in the country and in the, where they were. I had the opportunity to work with Bruce Rayner, Bruce Rayner, who brought me to, uh, to Mexico, where we sat on the floor of a woman making $30 a, a week, trying to feed her, trying to feed her family and have a, one, just a few of her seven kids come to go to school, go to school. Bruce Rayner has been an extraordinary, an extraordinary part of my life as he allowed me to sit in the back rooms and sometimes to make the tough decisions that have to be made to make this a better workplace and then also a better world as well. Those are the ones with gifts that have been given me in this particular moment and in life and throughout this, that, that, that life. That strike of 1968, which began as the Black Student Union, was created the Third World Coalition of African American, Latino American, Asian American, and white Americans to talk about the truth, our version of the 1619 Project of Critical Race Theory. <laughs> and, and, and how do you get here? How do you get to this point? How do you, how do you, how do you move and keep moving? It's because People move. People move, and they continue to move. I am proud of being a part of that, and I'm proud of being someone who was moved by the work of Ethelful God in South Africa and his writings, which they smoke high, a wonderful South African. South African actor, Zay Smokai took me around to the homes and parties that South Africans exiled would have in San Francisco in the Bay Area. And somewhere about midnight, there began to have the music of homeland, the homeland the speaking about homeland, the sheer the, the tears and pain of being exiled here, not knowing what the future is in homeland, at their homelands. And those stories moved us, moved me. And, and I was happy to be a part of that. 
if I seem re rep <laughs> repetitive in my comments, uh, it's because I didn't know that my speech was going to be here. <laughs> and so I haven't referred to this, the, uh, the teleprompter at all. Um, at all, because I don't. And sometimes, us, we as actors uh, become a little lost if we don't have a script. <laughs> it brings the light here, bring us alive here. And um, I, as I've said, this is Samuel L. Jackson, Lee Movement, uh, and those who've how graced our screens, and those who continue. I'm proud to be a part of this, this space and place. Uh, and thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you.